each player like sits down, at least John and Dill, right? They sit down, look at each other and be like, you again. You. You. You're going down. It is It is fate that these two continue to meet here in Xeno Weeklies, but the winner of this is going to get potentially their revenge on Mr. E, as Mr. E was the one who knocked both of these players into losers. Right, Mr. E, Mr. Enemy number one, sitting pretty as Dill and John numbers fight for the opportunity to get the salty run back. Okay, starting off very strong. Just clean percentage here. Both vying for space, John in a very comfortable edge as they like to be. All right, yep, once again, John just uh, yeah, holding strong at this ledge, Dill continuing on the pressure. Dill a little bit more like close range game than we typically see. Whoa, no. whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, so unfortunate. Just fa fast fell too fast and uh, Dill shaking their head. Actually, a rare moment where they're upset at themselves. Yeah, she is definitely not happy about that one, but trying to continue on this pressure offstage, Rob, one of the few characters who really can challenge We Fit offstage thanks to all of that gas in the tank. But right now, John just feels- Dill with the gas? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my God, I thought Dill that was gonna be died. a zero to death. No, 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 Rob, that low, they got the gas, they got I, the gas. I don't know, John almost hit the header spike. That <laughs> oh, would've- Almost, that almost. Would've, that would've totally killed. But Dill still holding on to her second stock and catching the back air now on the board. Chat, do you believe? Because I believe. I believe Rob can absolutely take the second stock so fast. I mean, if there's if there's one character who can do it, it is Rob. But I also feel like if there's a player who knows the ins and outs of how to fight Rob, it's John Numbers. Correct. But it looks like Dill is just going for something safe, trying to stay out of the air against John. That up air is terrifying, but making sure not to land too fast because that uh, up smash, also terrifying. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry. Dill just laughing it off, being like, okay, all right. Because I think John was trying to go for the odd angle there, but they were just a little too far off to the right. So it actually went straight down. Yeah, just like, you can never count count John out in disadvantage. Even if you've just gotten a throw on him, like, he's gonna find some way to swing back. But Dill... even game here, though, finally down to last stock. You know, Rob at 80%, 96%. I mean, even then, you know, an absolute monster of a character. John Number is having to play very carefully. If not, Dill is going to get a zero to death. Oh, I love that timing mix up from Dill, uh, just quickly going to the ledge there after making it look like she was about to stall. Maybe going to bait John into trying to build some sort of resource. But right Whoa. now, deep breathing is on line. Good job with John Number just standing still to wait for Dill to just overextend with that grab attempt. Not gonna kill, Ooh. but wow, the gyro actually saving Dill there. 183, Rage is online and terrifying. Yep, Dill does Whoa. have gyro in hand and is able to reverse the You see? You see? You They're never both count out, laughing Rob. it off. Like, that was... What a nutty set. That was... One a, for the books. An extremely silly game one. After an SD, after, like, getting spike from center stage. <laughs> <laughs> all she, all she's smiles. Like, I should not have won that, but no, you know. no, no, no. You you deserve to yeah. win that. All right, but yeah, if we if we look at this, oh, is this the one where uh, John Spike? No, it's no, not. that's just the uh, the, the oh, SD. Yeah, no, no, it was just too fast of a fall. Thrill in darkness and silence the night. What a fear in my heart. Oh. You're so supreme. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all set. <laughs> all right, looking like the run back here is uh, John and uh, Dill are trying to kind of uh, make up for the last set for you folks. Yep, and Dill already starting out with some incredibly threatening empty movement, just really you know riding the momentum. From game one, she knows you know, all, all she needs is one more game, and she's going to be the one to get that run back against Mr. Wow. E. And what a strong start to game two. So in, in this game here, all right, I want you to be honest with me here. Who would be boss and who would be Naked Snake? <laughs> I'm, I mean, I guess 
I'm John, elite. you have to kill me. <laughs> Do you have loyalty to me or loyalty to Smash? <laughs> or loyalty to House of 3000. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think Dill's boss. Yeah. True. Right. Poor old John. Always thinking soccer ball is the right answer. <laughs> Good old soccer ball. Nothing beats soccer ball. <laughs> John, trust your instincts as a gamer. Boss, I'm having trouble with CQC against this giant robot. <laughs> the Shagohod. <laughs> Shagohod! Honestly, the way the Dill plays is definitely nuclear a lot of it times. Definitely <laughs> oh, you a see that? weapon of mass destruction Bam. is that down at International there. treaty incoming. <laughs> Dill right now with an extremely solid lead over John. Uh, that, that was not intentional. <laughs> You stand by your puns. Oh, no gas online for Dill, and unfortunately, she's not able to air dodge back to the ledge, and suddenly, it's an even game once more. All right, honestly, it just, it just goes to show that how well these two players know each other. That they are just able to, like, come back Whoa. from these unstoppable situations that most players would. Whoa! Yeah, too far out to tech on the ledge, and... I feel like, to kind of like follow up on what you were saying, I feel like when you have two players like this who play each other so often, like, we'll meet eventually, again, John. eventually the sets just start getting silly. Wait, and oh my god. this is what we've been yeah. <laughs> Naked Snake's actual name is John. Yeah. Oh, you're right. That's what I was saying <laughs> earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Esquire, you can't don't do that forget while I'm that water. he didn't do four years of law school for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He'll see you in court. Three, two, one, go. All right. Anyway, back to small battlefield. Game three, John versus Dill. See how <laughs> things work out for game three, already Dill with some stage positioning, has the gyro in hand, might be seeing, okay, almost seeing a zero to death, but. Right? You know, Dill is not a Rob that often goes for those zero to deaths, but when they get mad, they will they will do it. Oh, because yeah, they get, they're a player that can absolutely do it, but they know that everyone expects that, so they're already looking for like, the, you know, the down tilt setups. But no, just going for optimal situations. And the optimal situation here is to kill John. Yeah, it's still 0%. One oh, or one fifteen unanswered on John, not even getting hit by the soccer ball. Dill looking to close things out with the forward air, but finally John able to kind of make it back down to center stage, but might have to be worrying about up throw soon. What a confirm by John! I Just know does so much damage. Not even deep breathing that 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 up smash does so much. All right, we're going off stage. Wow, Ooh. just fading back against that John down there, something that John is unafraid to throw out. Yep. Can't and if it doesn't make it, then he'll just do it again. Yeah, Dill cannot be fooled twice with the same down air. And once again, now with a stock lead, a pretty healthy, well, kind of healthy stock one. It is certainly starting to bleed now, 108, and still no extra credit on the board. No, no, no. You know, it's okay. As long as you're bleeding and not getting sepsis, it's healthy. Health. Yeah? All right. Healthy Any Claudine. Okay. Great punish there. Waiting for the dash in. Yep, Dill making some space, just dashing back, utilizing you know, just the fact that Rob can play at so many distances and angles thanks to those like amazing projectiles. Waiting out the Sun Salutation as well. No resources on the line for the moment for John. Might be seeing, yep, just a quick Sun Style charge and a deep breathing to move. Whoa, that forward air almost killing. Looks like John is going to go in deep. Oh. Using the Hulu was to confirm into something, but nothing. <gasps> Dill able to get in and actually bait out the back air, but that down air going at the uh, funny angle. Dill, second stock, and John uh, only at 45%, Ooh. but <gasps> soccer ball, come on. <laughs> soccer ball, the denier of cool smash clips. That's the Yakuza boss right there. <laughs> soccer ball, the boss of the numbers family. <laughs> Patriarch. Patriarch of the numbers clan. All right, right now though, Dill with the 
stage advantage. Has Gyro in hand and numbers off stage once again. I love this Gyro control. Okay, right. let's see if they're going to make it back. Using the Gyro actually to reset that? But no, no. A great attempt there from John. Honestly, saw what they were doing, but they were so ready for that punish. Yeah, John, usually it's so good at being able to weave around like spike attempts, but Rob down air is a different move. It is very big. Not quite like pirate down air, but still still massive. I mean, they're both pretty fire. True. All right, let's see. Great reaction there from Dill. Not getting caught by the Sun Cell. And I'm actually a little bit surprised that John threw the gyro at Dill. Usually we see it get thrown upward to take it out of play for a little bit. Uh, they were hoping to at least catch them off guard here. Back on back off stage, but oh. Even percentages? John just a little bit ahead, but honestly against Rob, such a big, big character with lots of power with rage. Oh, a second throw in with the gyro? What do you think here? Ooh, and great tech from Dill. Now getting to set John up at ledge. John not able to make any space for himself using the soccer ball up air, sending sending John oh, right back barely out. Barely surviving. And that forward air taking it like Bowser. Dill moves on to get the run back against Mr. E. This is going to be an amazing Grand Finals. Yep, we are going to be moving on to Grand Finals of Mr. E versus Dill. And I'm curious as to how this Grand is going to go. Because last time Mr. E fought Dill, it was kind of rough so for Dill. What I've noticed the top players and those like, because, because here's the thing, Mr. E, top player, right? Oh, but not one that often comes as Dino. Mm -hmm. I have seen Dill and John lose handedly to players in bracket, whether it's an upset or something like that. And the moment that they come back for that round two, oh, they answer back in kind. Mm -hmm. All right, because they've had a few games to digest. They've had a few games to warm up with other players and be like, okay, I've gone over this in my head so many times, I am mentally ready for this. Absolutely. Plus, I mean, you gotta consider that 